but I love this dish. It's these rolled rice noodles. Really nice texture on these. At the time of this filming, we are in Krabi Town. The first time we came here was in June of 2015. We were just here for four days. We've been dreaming about this place ever since. We just want to show you a favorite places that we go to, especially to eat, because this place has a lot oh. of food. Like we get breakfast, lunch, and hello. The large white duck, small uh, chicken rice, okay. and uh, big, yeah, small. And <laughs> we are at one of our favorite places to eat here in Krabi Right across Mother Marche on Maharat Pool. We have this. One of my favorite things to get here is the chicken rice. And then we have the roast pork. And we have Greg's favorite thing. This is what has been ordering every single time. Then we have this ginger garlic wine full of flavor spicy so good sauce which we can literally drink this whole thing this is dangerous it's so good and it's perfect with every dish that we are about to devour <laughs> the flavor of the chicken is so simple it doesn't have that um, taste but I just love how simple it is because if you put this in here and then you have your soup and your rice and then you take your chicken out. All right, this is the dish I've been ordering every single time we come here. I just can't get enough of it. It's not quite chopped. Also, too, I want to mention about this stall. They do more of the Chinese Thai dishes. So you're going to find here, like, your Hainanese chicken rice, your Kwai chop. I love this dish. It's these rolled rice noodles. Really nice texture on these. You have all these different parts of the pork. They leave nothing behind here. You have the blood cube, the liver, the intestine, the crispy roast pork, more of the tender roast pork, all the good stuff, all the innards. I love it. And they also have a whole boiled egg in here. And it's a dark broth. Get an aroma of that. You can smell that five spice, and you have that dark soy in here. Oh, it's it's such a nice. I can't even talk about it. Anymore. I have to take a sip. Mm. It's so comforting, simple. Like you know, it has a soy sauce in it. It's not too salty. You really get that nice aromatic five spice flavor, which I love. And it pairs so perfectly with all the pork meat, like this liver. I like to you get that nice liver flavor, but it's not too gamey. You really, you can still taste it. And he also has this bullet cube. They do a nice job here of, like, of cleaning the innards where it doesn't have too much of a funky taste. But I just love all the different textures. You have the chewiness, you have the kind of the more of the bouncy pieces. Then you have the crispy pork. Then you have these beautiful rolled rice noodles. It's almost like eating pasta in a way, but it's with that rice texture. It's such a wonderful dish. You can add something to it, but I really think by itself is best. You can really taste the subtlety and the little details of the flavor. There's roast pork. There's a lot of like the suyok we would eat in Malaysia or Chinese restaurants. Such a beautiful balance of that crispy skin, that melt in your mouth fat, and that slight chew but still tender meat. And what I love about it, it's not too salty. This pork is incredible. Well worth ordering a plate of it to go. Lunch and breakfast is <laughs> so good. 
And we're heading to our lunch spot. Our yep. lunch spot is... It's a really popular local spot. It's another one we just stumbled on. All these places we just stumbled on. We didn't even read ahead or research. These are just places that we found really enjoyed. This next one is a real gym. Excited to take you there now. So kanam jeans is a very popular dish here in Krabi, and just South Thailand in general. There's six different pots of curry here, up to six pots any day. So you get your vermicelli rice noodle in a bowl, then you pick out the curry. Go-to here has been this yellow crab curry. It's in a coconut milk, turmeric gravy. It just, it's so good. It's, it's just that kind of flavor that I love. But today I mixed it in with this dark brown curry. I believe it has mackerel in it. Really intense smell. If you mix it all together, you get this beautiful, Mix of flavors. Let's try it today. Mm. Oh. Now, crab curry has always had that coconut, turmeric, lemongrass flavor. We're mixing in this one with the mackerel. It's got that interesting, like more of a galango and just really intense, kind of funky flavor to mix in with it. More spicy too. So you really get that creamy, spicy, sort of sweet mix of combos here. Mm. I love the crab. The crab curry, if I had to pick one to get here, that would be it. But the combo is quite nice. So I have a few others. There's, there's some that are a little sweeter. Then you have the chicken curry. There's a nice variety here. What I love most is all these vegetables. I feel like we eat so healthy when we come here. You get this little bit of the rice noodle curry, and you get all these vegetables. You get pickled mustard greens, greens and coconut milk. Get this kind of pickled vinegary green here, raw vegetables, you name it. So much is, uh, looks like it's papaya and carrot. Pickled. Pickled. Yeah, pickled papaya and carrot. It's kind of like a Thai achara. And of course, we can never resist getting homok, this beautiful parcel of steamed minced fish with spices wrapped in banana leaf. It's, it's, it's a dish we have to order and get any, anywhere we go. We have to at least get one. That's how much we love it. So the spot for reference is right across the street from Top Charoen Optical, the blue and white building right here, with the stripes. But you can't miss it. This is a very popular place. It sets up around noon to one o'clock in the afternoon until they run out, which is usually in the evening. And you're gonna see there's always full locals here. It's a very popular place.
refreshing. <laughs> That's what I love about, it's like Thailand in general, especially here in Krabi, there's a few spots that they make coffee fresh. They have a little espresso machine, you have the grinder, and just, it's not just like any coffee shop, it's like, it's like literally street food coffee, but espresso. I'm a huge espresso fan. Just being able to find this, just walking down the street. This little stall is right outside of a pharmacy. It's so cool. So they run the pharmacy and they run this little coffee stall outside. I think it's a genius idea, this coffee. Yeah, everything is made fresh, freshly ground. is what we're going to show you. This is one of our favorite places to eat. I think this place is only at my time. I just really found this spot walking down the street one day, saw a pack full of locals and saw a lot of activity. I'm like, this place has got to be good. So we came one night, we loved it. And now we're back. We're here early because food sells out kind of quickly. So the earlier, the better with the spot. You go where your nose leads you when it's food. You see this mural? And then there's smoke coming out, and it smells so good and delicious. Right outside the street, that's the place. So here we are, and one of our favorite things to get here is to eat. Oh, it's beautiful, Lap Mu. Lap Mu is a Lao dish, also found in Northeast Thailand. That's what's interesting, we're in the South, we're eating Northeastern and Lao food here. And it's just, it's very simple and very satisfying. The pork lap, it's minced pork, it's been boiled, and then it's tossed together with all these different spices. You have lime juice, fish sauce, crushed chilies, toasted rice powder, you have cabbage. And we, we got our own plates here. We're not sharing. We can't share. We learned our lesson early on about this. Mm -hmm. There's a beautiful mix of flavors. You that sour, funky, spicy. You get the nice texture too from the crunchy onions cabbage. I love it. It's a very healthy dish actually because it's just boiled and it's tossed very fresh. And a lot of times they call it like a minced meat salad in a way it is and it also pairs perfectly with the sticky rice. Mm. They just do it so perfectly here. We actually came one night and ordered four lap because they didn't have the other dish we're going to get. Um, you can easily just do that here. You, can, you know the special is in hot pot. The lop here is a must order. And another thing that we got here is this. Yeah, it's grilled pork. Pot. Grilled pork neck. So this is one too that we didn't realize until we saw the grill come out and the smoke billowing out that this is something you gotta order. The Roma too. This is another one where you really follow your nose is this dish. Man, grilled over charcoal. All right, without further ado, let's try this. This thing looks beautiful. It's got a nice caramelized exterior. It smells incredible. Mmm. Man, that smoky flavor from that charcoal really just permeates the meat. It's incredible. You get the outside bark. There's a little bit of caramelized sweetness too. Beautiful. Mm. Very juicy, tender. Slight bit of chew to it, but really on that juicy side. It also has this really nice dipping sauce. The big sauce actually has toasted rice powder too, just like it, the lap. Like a hint of soy sauce. Mm. And chilies. Might be lemongrass in there too. But it really is a very strong flavor. Very tangy, sour. Not as spicy as you would think from looking at it. It's perfect to dip with the grilled pork. Mm -hmm. perfect. Also perfect. Put your sticky rice in. You can dip your whole clump of sticky rice into this sauce, and it's perfect too. It's incredible. Just incredible. So, we thought we're gonna come here and just get two things, but we failed. And now we have three more things. <laughs> so, we have the clay pot, hot pot. Got these green noodles right here. I have no idea what they are. This is actually our it. first time having it. Yeah. It smells delicious. Try it. Mm. 
I wouldn't be surprised if maybe this is made with spinach or another green. It's got crunchy bit with garlic. Reminds me a lot of wonton meat from Malaysia. I like it. And so with the hot pot. Should be about ready now. Yeah. How cool that it's they use charcoal to fire it. They I do. love this. They do. And we have <laughs> liver lop. The first two times we came here, first three even, they did not have this. It was across that admitting today. We got it. Mmm. It's so soft, silky, tender with that lop flavor. Not funky either. Oh, so creamy and good. This place is such a gem. They're making everything fresh on the spot. Pretty much everything is made to order. So I would wait a little bit for it. And it's so worth it.